Apart from the Indian viewers, the first Indian original series by Netflix is definitely grabbing eyeballs of the international critics and audience. With its unique international but deep-rooted appeal, it's been definitely applauded for its representation of Mumbai and also the way in which it captures the attention of Indian audience. Today, we will be counting down some interesting facts and analogy about the show. And as always, before we jump into the list, let's talk about the last week's quiz. I asked you, name the movie in which Kevin Spacey played a mysterious patient at a mental hospital who claims to be from a distant planet. And the correct answer is K-Pax. So the name of people with correct answer is on the screen. Guys, it really pays off the hard work when I see your comments, likes and subscription. I never try to create clickbait video and work hard to bring well-researched list. I hope you will like this and my future work. And to not miss any upcoming uploads, please click on that bell icon. A spoiler alert if you have not watched the series. So without a further ado, let's dive in. Both directors refused English language shows. So Vikramadit Motwani and Anurag Kashyap were previously offered opportunities to make shows for Netflix in the English language. After various meetings and talks, both refused on the grounds that they want to produce something in regional language, considering that it would be an Indian story. My initial instinct was going to be, oh, it's going to be an English show and then, no, I don't want to do it. Cuckoo drank whiskey to get her performance right. Kubra said who played Cuckoo, a transgender in the series and has pivotal scenes. Her scenes were quite explicit. At one point, Kashyap had to get her drunk so she could perform the script with ease. The result is the flawless performance which is out there for everyone to see now. The effect is everything. So having my whiskey with him, he starts reading the lines. And at one point, my eyes start welling. Nobody speaks to a centrifugal vanity man. Send me another drink. I'm eating him on the set. And then we shot that scene. Reference to politics as the biggest business. The series is quite politically correct story as their episodes are shown in a way that how Indian history relates to the politics. Be it when the 1977 emergency was declared and or be the Shah Banu case that how it was made a political matter despite dealing with that. Remarks on Rajiv Gandhi or other political leaders and that is why it is a bold series. The central characters are not shown immortal. Unlike Indian cinema where central characters hardly die and they are seen immortal, this isn't the case with Sacred Games. The first season ends with the death of a very important character Ganesh Gaidonde, Anjali Mathur and a very likable constable Katikar. The inherent racism that characters display without realizing. Many of us have unconsciously internalized racism and unless we continuously work towards changing our perceptions, we can't evolve as a better humans. The character of constable Katikar is exactly like that, a dedicated cop and loyal subordinate. He's a good guy who perhaps does not even realize that he is being racist to, to Bangladeshi refuses until his racism costs a person's life. Take on religion and politics. Religion has often been used as a tool to drive a wedge between certain sections of people. This strategy has been blazingly depicted in the show. The creators have not highlighted one community because it has never been one community's fault or responsibility. Lynching as a religious emanation is a practice that has been prevalent since pre-independence time. As the creators rightly point out, it takes very little to incite a religiously charged person. Sexual fetishes among Indians. Although many factions of Indian society would like to believe that BDSM is a foreign concept introduced by Fifty Shades of Grey, it is far from the truth and Sacred Games highlights just that. Hero who isn't invincible. Heroes don't get hurt in Indian feature films and TV shows, but Sartar Singh is not your Bollywood hero. There is a gruesome scene where he gets his thumb chopped up by Malcolm who is a sinister terrorist. Sartar Singh as the anxious, overthinking cop is not your typical hero. He is your typical average Indian man. Graphic imagery. When was the last time you saw a cute dog killed on the screen? This show is started with a dog dog thrown out of the building and lands with his skull smashed wide open right in front of a group of schoolgirls. That graphic moment describes the tone of the series. Radhika Apte preferred working with Motwani than Anurag Kashyap. She plays the character Anjali Mathur, a raw analyst. The actress has worked with Vikramadit Motwani and has a better rapport, hence preferred the part where he was the director. In an interview with the Indian Express, Anurag Kashyap said, Radhika refused to work with me. She chose to work with Vikram. The recent announcement of season 2 by Netflix is something to celebrate by the Sacred Games fan. And please share this list with anyone who is a fan of Sacred Games. And, and let me know if you know any other fact about about the show which was not mentioned in the list. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next list. Till then, have a good one.